Alright, so this is the fourth time I've done this. Hopefully I'll get it right this time, but hello, how's it going? Um, so I was over on the test server trying something out and found out there's a fun little gimmick you can do on Kaid in Cache CCTV. I don't know how useful this is, but I might as well show it off a little bit to show something that I found. See if maybe somebody can make something of it. Protect the bombs. Um, in the game right now, I know a lot of people like to play in Cash CCTV by reinforcing off these two walls here, which can be really helpful for preventing attackers from getting a good angle onto the person playing on catwalk here, and it can also help to secure the objective overall a little more safe. But one of the things that I see players typically doing is they will reinforce these off, and then they'll put like a mute chamber down, or they'll put, you know, like bandit batteries here. They'll open up the top and try and like impact trick if it's a thermite or something like that. Keep an but eye the out thing is, is that to defuse your bombs. that doesn't always work, and it's not always super consistent. And one thing that I found out about and was kind of interested in with Kaid was that I saw his claws actually have a pretty substantial range to them. So obviously you can throw them at the base here. There would be two reinforcements there. It would electrify them both, and you'd be set and good to go. But the thing is, is that they can get frag grenades over through the top here if they open it up, or they can do a frag grenade through here. Um, lots of little things like that make it not that tough to get rid of these electric claws. And so on top of that, if you put a claw here and the attackers open up the main door and then you in look area. inside, you have been spotted by well, fall back. almost nowhere that you can put this through here is it safe. Obviously they're exposed to the catwalk, but if an IQ can like ping a general location on the other side safely, somebody can get stead in, take a shot, move on, hey, you just lost your electric claw. There's nothing you can do about it. But, what I thought was interesting was, and I tested this both on the test server and on here before I did anything else, if you put the claw down here, well, would you look at that? All the way out here, the claw can electrify that. So it got me thinking, what happens if we electrify it here? Let's find out. Well, would you look at that? Now, I only did one reinforcement on both of these sides because I'm trying to prove the point that this does work. Where that little knuckle is, or that little hump is, however you want to call it, here's kind of where the claw is going. And it's clearly covering both of those up. Down right below here. So it reaches for sure. And I thought, well, let's apply that logic to the other side as well. And guess what, kids? Bada bing, bada boom. It works on both of them. This might be one of the best ways to keep an enemy team who's trying to attack into CCTV guessing the whole game. Now, obviously this is a little tricky to do because if they get any you kind of explosive in here, area. you're in a little bit of trouble. But they cannot easily see this thing in fact, they can't see this thing at all from there. Seconds left. And the only way they can get rid of it is get an explosive left. in the middle here. That'll clear it out. So if you can get like a Wamai disc here or your ADS somewhere below where it can get rid of any kind of explosive you that comes in the from there, limit. you're set. They can't get in. And with utility being as limited as it is right now, that could be a really strong way to keep them from getting in. So. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show off real quick. Just thought I'd do a fun little tricks video here. And um, who knows, maybe somebody will find a way to really get a strong trick out of this. So anyway, that's all.